Hey guys, and welcome back to First Time Home Buyer Central, where we take the guesswork out of buying your new home. And today, I want to talk to you about getting the absolute best rates on your home loan that you could possibly get. You've probably heard it said that right now is the lowest rates in mortgages of all time. And then maybe you get pre-approved and your rate was not as low as you had thought. I'm going to give you the tips and clues to help you get the lowest rate you could possibly get. Stick around. Hi everybody, I'm Jeremiah Wood, Realtor with Keller Williams Hometown Partners here in Wichita, Kansas. And today I want to give you the tips and secrets of getting the absolute lowest rate possible on your home loan. But before we do, let's go ahead and gently and lovingly hit that like button and subscribe. That way you can be up to date when more content comes out every single Thursday morning. Also, by liking and subscribing, you're also helping the channel grow so that more and more people can have access to this great content as well. Okay, let's just get down to business. How to get the lowest rate you can possibly get on your home loan? Well, it starts with a habit of shopping for the best rates. What do I mean by shopping for the best rates? Well, here's what it basically looks like. Oftentimes, when somebody is ready to buy their home, especially if they're buying their first home, they find a lender that they like and they get pre-approved. And oftentimes, they make the mistake of if they get pre-approved, then they think that that part of the task is done. And so when you get pre-approved for the first time, there's an algorithm that sees how many times you've applied. And if you've only applied once, the algorithm will actually give you a higher interest rate on your home loan. So what's the solution? The best solution is this. Go to multiple lenders, maybe three, four, or even five. Uh, get a pre-approval letter from each lender. And each time you get a pre-approval letter, that algorithm that is pre-approving you for a mortgage will begin to drop your interest rates on your home loan. So how do you see the lowest rate possible? You start by shopping around. The more you shop around and the more you shop for the best interest rates, the more likely you are to see it. The second best way to get your interest rate at an all time low is make sure you get rid of debt. Carrying around unnecessary debt can oftentimes penalize us from being able to get the absolute best interest rate we could possibly get. And the more that uh, we carry unnecessary debt, the higher and higher our interest rates begin to climb. So you want to cut those interest rates down, cut that debt down. Go ahead and pay off that credit card. Go ahead and pay off the computer that you bought um, with credit. I mean, you could, you could pay all this stuff off just real quick and it does wonders for uh, your interest rates. Just remember, unnecessary debt also creates unnecessarily high interest rates on your own. Okay, the third way to get the lowest interest rates possible is you need to jack up that credit score. How do you do that? There's tons of ways to do that. I'm not gonna go into those on how to get your credit score up, but I will tell you this, you can hop online and find multiple videos on how to increase your credit score in relatively quick fashion. And I, I recommend that you do that. Like I really wanna encourage you to get your credit score up as high as possible. So is your credit score a magic number that somehow gets you better loans? Mm, kind of, sorta, of, but really not so much. What your credit score is, is kind of like a credit grade. It, it tells creditors how faithful and how uh, reliable you are on paying back the loans that you take. So when you take out a credit card, do you pay it off every month? Or is there a two or three month gap between payments that unfortunately lowers your credit score? The goal at getting a good credit score is being faithful in repaying the loans that you borrow in order to make the purchases that you make. 
the better your credit score, the better and lower your interest rates are going to be. So, just to recap real quick, you want the best interest rates possible. What do you need to do? You need to shop around and get a, an approval letter from three, four, or even five different lenders. The more times you shop around for the best score or the best interest rates, the better your interest rates are gonna end up being. Number two, you wanna pay off unnecessary debts because unnecessary debt creates unnecessarily higher interest rates. And number three, you want to get the best credit score possible. It shows lenders that you are faithful in repaying back the amount of money that you borrow. Hey, I hope this information helps and I hope you are able to get your interest rates as low as possible. Why? Because it has been the lowest we have ever seen in this American home buying history. So the lower you can get your interest rates, the more you can get that locked in and keep those numbers low and your payment low for the next 15 to 30 years. You're gonna want that for sure. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in today for another First Time Home Buyer Central where we take the guesswork out of buying your new home. I'm Jeremiah Wood, Realtor with Keller Williams, Hometown Partners. Thanks so much for joining. Have a great day.